All right, so I bought a uh, bot colony and I started I was started going into it for like a second. I have no idea what it was. I think Drew had said it was out on Steam and then it wanted me to plug in a microphone and then I thought we should just prep for this together uh, and go on a journey. So right now I'm using a boom mic in here in case that doesn't work. I also picked up uh, this um, really cheap Logitech headset today at Best Buy and uh, let's see what happens. So I don't uh, I don't have controls to monitor audio and stuff like that so once we get in I'll look at the chat you guys tell me if the audio is so loud you know how this works and uh, we'll, we'll play it from there but you guys ready to play some bot colony? I have no idea how this works. So I'm gonna try and uh, launch it and uh, see what happens. So I think I do this. Right. And then I think I can come in here. On. Let's see, do that. And then I think I go here and I do here go like that yeah uh, I'll, I'll put this down here for now and then but I don't know if Bob Collins is gonna be loud or what but let's see what happens and then I go back into Bob Colony. On July 15, 1944, a 71,000-strong United States expeditionary force invaded the island of Saipan in the Marianas. I'll let you guys After watch this. Battle, the Americans won. Victory came at a great cost. Some 3,000 died in battle, and another 10,000 were wounded. Some Japanese soldiers, like Captain Sake Oba, held out in the jungle long after Saipan fell. Japanese intelligence outposts continued to operate on the smaller Marianas Islands, monitoring the training flights of B-29 bombers from Tinian. One of these outposts on the island of Agrihan was commanded by Colonel Saito. Colonel Saito's final moments were captured on film by his aide, Lieutenant Kobayashi, who also died in the attack. The president of Nakagawa Corporation, Mr. Shigeru Saito, announced today a great victory on the business battlefield. His company, Japan's leading robot maker, won a huge contract to sell robots to China. These robots will replace hundreds of thousands of Chinese needle trade workers, making that country even more competitive. The deal will help the Japanese company sustain its breakneck expansion. Ah. Nakagawa Corp has moved its facilities to Agrahan Island. To train its robots for work on Mars, Agrahan will be run entirely by robots. Many people now refer to Agrahan as Bot, Bot Colony. Colony. Bot Colony. I said it too. Nakagawa robots work to improve our lives and increase our efficiency. They make our deep sea journey safer and take our deep space journeys further. In every aspect of life, Nakagawa and its robots are faithfully committed to the benefit of all mankind. People like you and I no longer have to risk our lives in dangerous situations People like me? doing dangerous jobs. From the surface of our home planet Like shooting Aztec temples? Species, Nakagawa robots labor to mine the minerals we need and build the foundations of our society. In hotels and bars, they are the sustainable, reliable, and independent workforce the hospitality industry needs. Oh god, that kid. We are entrusted to watch over and entertain oh our god, that kid's face. while we are busy at work or with our day-to-day -day lives. That's well, what that's amazing. Alright, I'm gonna put these back on. And truly that's understanding fantastic. companions to our beloved elders. 
caring devotedly, listening patiently, day in and day out. Nakagawa, flowers for a better life. This is a hell of an it. Oh, hi. Hello, Mr. Phillips. Hi. I'm Ogato from Nakagao Hi, Ogato. Uh, hi, Ogato. We are contacting you because we're interested in the same cognition. You're fired, Big Fly! facility on Agrihim. Three specialists that are not bastards just have recently disappeared. Agrihim, as you may know, is run almost entirely by robots. We need some of who has a highly developed understanding of it. Robotics to investigate. That's me. Recover these sensors. What's the problem? There What's up? One thing what? Of infotus that you should know. What? Or Korean competitor. Fuck. Has been sniffing around and they would love to get their hands on these prototypes. It is of the utmost importance that you prevent this at all costs. You got it, Okahara. O if you o accept Kogara, please affirm the contract. Ticket to Tokyo and the Marianas are waiting for you. Got it. Good luck. Thanks. Bot Colony. All right. Well, hope everybody's in on this. Ooh. Ooh. Hell yeah, I do! Why else am I here? Yes. Uh, so I tried setting this up before. I don't think it worked, so... I, let's try this. There. Okay. Mm, it's kind of an other, it's a boom mic. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. I might need to set this up. Let's try this again. Okay. Now let me make sure. I'm gonna try and get this window in here, so hold on a second. Let's see if I can do it. Oh yeah, look at that! Now you see what I see. Okay. Excerpt from Bot Colony, part three. Okay, that didn't seem to work. Excerpt from Bot Colony, Colony Part 3. Tokyo, 16... <laughs> you gotta be kidding. June 2008. Tokyo, 16... Ju Tokyo, 16th, June 2008. Tokyo, 16th, June... Oh, God. Am I doing this right? This <laughs> is the chat. Does chat know if I'm doing this right? I like how when you pause it, it like takes it away, like it's a big surprise. Like, no, 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 don't read this yet. All right. I'm never going to read this without cracking up. Look how long this fucking bar is. Alright. <laughs> Let's try this again. Juan Filamento, the governor of CNMI, closed his eyes briefly as he reclined in his comfortable leather chair. The traffic jam 
<laughs> a Nihon Bashi, 20 stories below, brought back the memory of a giant turtle he had watched on the beach in his native Saipan. The deal was straightforward, and notary Wasada summarized it before the parties. The government of the CNMI would agree to lease Agraham Island to Nakagawa Corp for a period of 99 years. Nakagawa Corp would electronically transfer 500 million yen to the government of CNMI upon closing and another 500,000 yen to Omnivox. Agrahan would continue to be part of the Marianas, but Nakagawa Corp assumed full authority and responsibility for the island and its inhabitants. Nakagawa would be free to make local regula regulations, control access to the island, and develop it as it wished. Agrigan thus became the private island of Nakagawa Corp, who would now have exclusive authority over it. Saito, the Nakagawa Shacho, nodded briefly. Wasada-san, the funds were transferred to your escrow account as of this morning. I don't know if you want me to read in the voices you put quotes there. We can then proceed with the transaction. Wasada picked up an ornate fountain pen from his desk and presented it to the governor. The governor uh, opposed his flowery signature on each of the three copies of the lease agreement. Saito signed next. The island had become his. Now, Nakagawa could continue to grow. Could continue to grow. The first new building erected on the island was a shrine housing a Japanese wartime grave. Excerpt from Maitro Shinbun, June 16th, 2008. Nakagawa Corporation leases island of Agrahan from CNMI for 99 years. Nakagawa Corp has leased the island of Agrahan in the Marianas for 99 years. The amount of the transaction is confidential. This acquisition is seen as a defensive move by the highly successful corporation to guarantee its ability to sustain its breakneck expansion as it runs out of space in Japan. I, I need to take a drink. This is still streaming. This is insane. Okay. Diversification, 2010 to 2020. Saito had a knack for interpreting global events and anticipating emerging trends a few years before the competition. He personally ran a small research department that engaged in a kind of geopolitical analysis and forecasting first popularized by the CIA with its fact book. The job of this organization was to identify and quantify new markets for Nakagawa. Get it. Fix it. While Saito always listened to his intuition first, He's personally specified the target 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 markets for his researchers. He was not impulsive. Impulsive. Resume. Now oh boy. Resume. Resume. While Saito always listened to his intuition first, he personally specified the target markets for his researchers. He was not impulsive. He never finalized business decisions nor moved to implement them before he had conclusive proof of their validity. Nakagawa was not the first Japanese company to research global trends. The giant Japanese trading companies, Sogo Shoshos, like Mitsubishi, Mitsui, Itochu, Sumitomo, Marlboro, and Niso Iwa had always dealt globally and operated their own sophisticated intelligence collection and dissemination networks. Some even operated their own communication satellites. Nakagawa's research had identified oil exploration as the next major market opportunity after defense. Oil prices first spiked in 2008 then continued to move up relentlessly. Global warming worsened and the polar ice cap started breaking up. 
The melting of the polar ice cap was a boon for oil companies that could then drill for north oil north of the Arctic Circle, assisted by Nakagawa robots. Several years then, oil and Nakagawa robots were converted to dismantle the oil rigs they had helped to build. To build. Saito was highly selective in his market choices. Though Nakagawa had been approached to supply robots to the forestry industry, he declined. The Amazonian and Indonesian forests were well on their way to obliteration. There were few mature trees left in these forests as most had been logged to make newsprint, which in turn became a victim of online media. Online media. A victim. Deforestation was linked to global warming, and Saito did not want to associate the Nakagawa name with this scourge. The primary cause of climate change was, of course, greenhouse gas emissions. Of course. Saito firmly believed in clean energy and was convinced electric cars were the way of the future. He had predicted that oil prices would continue to rise and the dollar would tank. And indeed, by 2013, gas was $10 a gallon. A gallon. GM and Chrysler went bankrupt and as Saito had again predicted correctly, everything surviving, every surviving car company was by then manufacturing electric cars. Like the Leaf. Car assembly lines were highly automated, and 70% of assembly operations worldwide were performed by Nakagawa robots. Aside from reducing pollution, the dwindling of fossil fuel had another good result. But it led to tremendous progress in battery and electricity storage technologies. After scoping the opportunities in the electric car industry, Saito asked his research department to map out the food production market. I'm going to check the stream. How's everything going? Sorry. Pause! Yeah, you don't know what I'm talking about. Everybody okay? We're doing it. We're good? Alright, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Halfway there. With no pastures left to graze on, cattle were slowly becoming extinct. They weren't the only ones. In 2015, no rhinos were sighted, and most living lions and tigers were captive. Great herons and many other birds could only be found in photographs. Still, the larger population needed more food than before. Than before. More food than before. Food had to be made quickly and cheaply, and that meant from new sources. And by robots! Soon thereafter, Nakagawa robots were synthesizing meat from tofu. That's not possible. Throughout Southeast Asia, while Nakagawa hortibots replaced Mexican farmhands in California. There was no coral left, and the bottom of the sea was dotted with white bleached ruins of what once was. Fish had little food left, and overfishing led to salmon, tuna, lobster, and whales being declared endangered species. Sounds awesome. Synthetic seafood became a huge growth industry with Nakagawa robots staffing the assembly lines. All lakes died from algae. And Saito directed Nakagawa to perfect a pollution fighting robot that harvested the algae and turned them into fertilizers. This is, 
The traditional robot markets had always been in manufacturing. In spite of the human population reaching 8 billion and rampant unemployment, the quest for ever increasing productivity had better and better bottom lines never stopped. I love a better bottom line. Robot manufacturers at Nakagawa among them prospered like never before. With a very deep and long lasting recession, and most work done by robots who did not collect the salary and did not pay taxes, governments lacked the revenues required to provide services. Freeloading robots. Overcrowding and crime increased steadily. Sao Paulo alone had 22 million people, 95% of them living in a ghettos. Labor unions all over the world vilified robots. The worker's worst enemy. Is your neighbor a robot? There were regular protests in front of Nakagawa's Haichiochi headquarters, and in 2018 alone, there were three bombing attempts. But robots shot them. Editorials casting doubt on whether technolo technological progress actually benefited humanity appeared daily in the few newspapers that were still in operation. But progress could not be stopped. By 2020, a lot of long-distance travel had shifted from airlines to slower solar-powered ships and electric trains. The introduction of the plasma-fueled hovercraft in 2018 revitalized the moribund air transport industry. Nanotechnology continued its mad rush, and computers were piping HDTV digital content through worldwide wireless networks to a plethora of sophisticated mobile devices. While overpopulation was clearly at the root of the tidal wave of change sweeping humanity, robots were the catalyst of the massive socioeconomic change. A major disruptive force, robots completed the revolution started 50 years before by Vinny reading the text for this screen. On the computer. On the computer. Close relative to the computer. I didn't know. Resume. A major disruptive force, robots completed the revolution started 50 years before by a close relative, the computer. Saito was closely following the massive changes taking place, but refused to accept any blame for jobs lost to robots. He was quoted saying that progress could not be stopped, and if Nakagawa didn't supply the robots to the world, another company would step in to fill the void. What? <laughs> Comma the 7A arrow. Okay. You got it, buddy. <laughs> Should more training. No, no, no. Cancel. No, we're good. Oh, God. No, no. Okay. Uh... Let's see if I can turn this back over. Hold on a second. We're good? Are we we did it, right? That's me.
Okay. We believe we have a spy among us. If we catch him, we won't think like him and operate like him. You'd finish us with a video game incorporating Wii Robot software. This game will test your observation skills. Watch our dramatization carefully. Go on! Boot Jimmy. As you saw, the spy broke into the house of a scientist <laughs> to steal a secret prototype chip. Oh. He hacked your robot in order to remote control it after he left. Hmm. Before touching anything, he photographed each room and hid cameras in the walls. After he left the house... Are you configuring your mic too, my man? ...put everything back in its place, using the hidden cameras to watch the robot in action and direct it. You will take it from there. Your mission is to look at the spy's photos and detect what objects the spy disturbed. You command the robot to put these objects back in their original positions, erasing all traces of the intrusion. Get ready to play our enemy. <laughs> you only have a little time to erase your traces. Okay. Hajime. How are you? I don't know what's happening. Loading. Loading. They should have just put them like more mic training during this stuff. Just read text here. Okay. Hi. Hi. I am Miki05, your training guide. Hi. Welcome to your virtual training simulation. Have sex. We have digitally recreated the house you saw in the dramatization. After the spy hacked the robot, he was able to control it using a tablet computer. <laughs> I know, I don't want to use a mouse. This is why I trained my mic for 45 minutes. Uh find the tablet computer. Oh, I found it. It's right here. Oh. oh, boy. Usually, you'll be able to communicate with Nakagawa robots face to face. In this simulation, you are now looking through a camera in the house using the tablet, just like the spy did. You can exit the tablet interface and look around the garden at any time. I don't want to. You can return to the tablet interface at any time. Next, you'll learn to communicate effectively with an Okagawa robot. Okay. 
Okay. You are now in remote communication with the Nakagawa robot. Next we will cover conversation through speech or typing. Speak into the microphone or simply type your message. Review your message in the dialog box for accuracy and then press enter to send it. Introduce yourself to the robot. Hi robot, I'm Vinagawa. Hi robot, I'm Vinagawa. Hi robot, I'm Vinagawa. Robot! Which robot? Me or the camera bot? You. I am sorry, I don't understand what you mean by robot. Can you please say the complete sentence again? Hi, robot! <laughs> Hello, robotic man. My name is Vinny. Did you mean? Robot. My name is Vinny. My name is Vincent. <laughs> My name is Dan. <laughs> My name is Andrew. Hello, Andrew. My name is Jimmy. Congratulations, you have just made contact with the Nakagawa robot. Nakagawa robots respond best to direct questions and commands. Each robot's knowledge is limited to what it needs to know to do its job. Ask the robot, what is your job? I'll try. I got it. You'll try. What is your job? My job is to do house chores. Nakagawa robots can learn from humans. Their artificial intelligence will record any fact you teach them. Do you remember that you told the robot your name? Well, the robot remembers. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can see for yourself. Ask the robot what your name is. Robot, what's my name? Bot Colony is the informal name of Agrahan Island. What is my name? Your name is Andrew. My name is Bill. That covers the basics of robot communication. Next, we'll... Good. Your name is Ale. <laughs> my name is... What is my name? I see. Your name is what is your name? What is my name? Your name is Andrew. That's wrong. Yes, you are wrong. My name is Dr. Svetso. You already told me your name is Street. <laughs> yeah, it is. Robot. Dance! Did you mean? Dance! That's wrong. Dance! Dance, motherfucker! Tell me in a clear sentence, please. In a clear sentence, please. 
I am sorry, I don't understand what you mean by in a clear sentence please. Can you please say the complete sentence again? Nakagawa robots will obey direct orders from humans. Each robot has specific commands related to their job. Orders must be issued in short clear sentences. Tell the robot go to the coffee table. Go to the coffee table. You can control the camera by holding the left mouse button down and dragging. Ah, it's okay. Domestic robots need to tidy up after humans. So every domestic robot can pick up objects and align them. If you don't know what an object is called, you can click on it. Ask the robot, what is this? Then left click on the object instead of pressing the enter key. What's my name? What is my name? Your name is Andrew. Change my name. I am sorry. I can't do that because I am not programmed with the command. Robot, sleep. Which robot? Me or the camera bot? You. Information recorded. Robot, sleep. What is this? I am myself. Who are you? That concludes our command tutorial. I am myself. Well, let's start the next part. I am sorry. I can't do that because I am not programmed with the command. Currently. I can only execute a few commands. As you were informed, the spy had cameras in every room. Navigate to room by selecting one of the camera icons from the house plan. I can see why the robots took over, and also why everybody hates robots. You cannot open the photos when looking through the robot. Bring up a photo to view the room in its original state. The spy took multiple photos in each room. Cycle through these photos now. Dock the photo pane so that the photo does not obstruct your view. Oh, dock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maximize the photo pane so that the objects are clearly visible. Compare the objects in the photo with the objects in the scene and enter the name of the misplaced object. Oops. Really? Let's shoot stand. What is this? It is a shoe rack. Shoe rack. The shoe rack is not out of place in this picture. Lady, there's no shoe rack there. way this notion of T-H-E-I-R-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-
What is this? What is this? What is this? It is a charging station. Jimmy. Jimmy? Lay down. Lay down. I see. Lay down. What is this? It is a coffee table. No, oh, what is this? What is this? It is a vase. 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 <laughs> Oh, you're killing me! Vase! <laughs> Vase! Vase! The vase! Correct. The vase is misplaced. Now pick a camera in another room. Select a photo and tell me what's out of place. Ah, oh, I'll tell you what's out of place. This whole game is out of place. Jimmy, get over here! Jimmy! Jimmy, come here! Jimmy, come here! Jimmy, here! What is this? What is this? What is this? It is an alarm clock. The alarm clock. Correct. The alarm clock is misplaced. Yay, let's let's start a mission, Jimmy. Great. Now use the photos to see if any objects were misplaced, and command the robot to restore them to their original positions. This is not a game. Finally, be aware that you are currently visible from the street. You should hide if you hear something approaching. Well done. That completes the tutorial for this training simulation so let's get into the core of the mission. If you require any additional help you can ask. I am sorry Andrew. <laughs> I don't understand. I know you don't. Okay. What should I do now? You can access the pictures of the current room by clicking on the photos button located above the house plan. Use the photos and command the robot to erase traces of the intrusion. Is that fun? I don't know whether that fun is. I heard however that fun is the second album from the British rock band The Candy Skins. Tell me more about The Candy Skins. The skins are the layer of tissue that covers the body. Hmm. What is this? It is a toy giraffe. The toy giraffe. The toy giraffe. 
The Toy Giraffe. The Toy Giraffe. It is a toy giraffe. The toy giraffe? It is a toy giraffe. Mm. The toy giraffe? Toy giraffe. Toy giraffe. Toy giraffe. Toy giraffe. Pick up the toy giraffe. Pick up the toy giraffe. A toy is an object for children to play with. What is this? It is a toy locomotive. The toy locomotive. It is a toy locomotive. What the fuck you doing, Jimmy? Put the giraffe back? Bot colony crashed. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I'll try again. See what else was in there. Skip, 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 skip. Yeah, I do. I really do. Yep, that's the one. I don't know. Riot sounds cool. I don't know. Riot sounds cool. My man! We leave. We have a spy among us. To catch him, you won't think like him and operate like him. Your training starts with a video game incorporating with robot software. What? This game will test your observation skills. Watch our drama. No, we did this already. No, no, no. Skip. Skip, skip. We were doing a riot, my man. I I don't remember your name. Mr. Suit. Oh boy. <sighs> Hmm. 
Any questions from the chat? I can ask Jimmy when we come back. Hi. Hi. I am Miku05, your training guide. Hi. Welcome to your virtual training simulation. End. We have digitally recreated the house you saw in the dramatization. End. After the spy hacked End. the robot, he was able to control it End. using a tablet computer. End. There's an... Yeah! Thanks. We got it. Check me out. Oh. Yeah. Fisher! I am sorry. I don't understand what you mean by Fisher. Can you please say the complete sentence again? What is my name? What is my name? I do not know your name. My name is... What is my name? Information recorded. Your name is what is your name? What is my name? I do not know your name. You're a smart man, Jimmy. I am sorry, Phillips. I don't understand. Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn it, Jimmy. <laughs> what is this? It is a saute pot. Fix the saute pot. Fix the saute pot. Fix the saute pot. Yeah. I am sorry, Phillips. <laughs> I don't understand. Fix the saute pot. I am sorry, Phillips. I don't understand. The saute pot. The saute pot. The pot in which you saute. The pot. I am sorry. I don't understand what you mean by pot. Can you please say the complete sentence again? Turn the pot. A pot is a deep brown container used for cooking things in. Fix the pot. I am sorry. I can't do that because I am not programmed with the command. Turn the saute pot. Okay. Raise your hand. I am sorry. I can't do that because I am not programmed with a command. Currently, I can only execute a few commands. I wasn't programmed with a dance command. Would you like to teach it to me? Yeah! Yes! Yes! To teach me a new command, Please use the commands I know, one step at a time. You can ask me about my commands whenever you need help. When you are done teaching me, just say end. I am for the first step telling me how to dance ready. Go ahead. Turn. Okay. 
turn. Okay. Boogie down. I am sorry, Phillips. I don't understand. Walk. Okay. Jump. 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 Okay. Get up. Get up. Okay. Get up. Okay. Get down. Okay. 911 is a joke in your town. Right. 911 is a joke in my town. End. 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 Stop. End. End. <laughs> end. <laughs> Jimmy, end. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Thank you. <laughs> I have learned how to dance. Would you like me to do it now? Yes. Yes. Dance! Dance! <laughs> Say woot woot! I am sorry, Phillips. I don't understand. Speak. I am sorry, Phillips. I don't understand. Repeat. Hello. Repeat. Hello. I am sorry. Mm. I can't do that because I am not programmed with the command. Touch the saute pot. Oh, God. Which saute pot? Can you please point to the saute pot? Did you mean? Repeat saute pot. Saute pot. Dance. Dance. Tell me in a clear sentence, please. This. Turn this. Okay. Good enough, Jimmy. Did you mean? Turn deadlock myself. Yes. Right. Turn me. Turn around. Okay. Uh. 
Oh boy. Jimmy, we got a problem. I am sorry. I don't understand what you mean by genuine our problem. What you is this? The sentence again. It is a cupboard door. Listen carefully. Shut the cupboard door. Shut the cupboard door. Close the cupboard door. A door is used to open and close so that people can get in and out of a room, building, car, closet, or cupboard. What are space brownies? Well, I said, a door is used to open and close so that people can get in and out of a room, building, car, closet, or cupboard. What are space brownies? What is a space brownie? I don't know what a space brownie is. Eat a space brownie. I am sorry. I can't do that because I am not programmed with a command. Are we done? I can't find we nearby. Come here, Jimmy. I don't understand what you mean by here, Jimmy. Touch the vase. Move 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 the vase. The vase. Move the... A vase is used for holding cut flowers or as a decorative object. What should I be doing? I'm collecting my memory. At 22.50 Friday, August 27th, 2021. At 22.51 Friday, August 27th, 2021. What am I doing? All I remember was, at 22.50 Friday, August 27th, 2021. At 2251 Friday, August 27th, 2021. Help! Ask me. What should I do now? What should I do now? You can access the pictures of the current room by clicking on the photos button located above the house plan. Use the photos and command the robot to erase traces of the intrusion. I don't wanna. Jimmy, what is this? What is this? It is a light switch touchpad. Turn off the lights. I can't do that. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, wait a second. These little thin things over here are things that are messed up? Ah, oh, you are kidding me. So wait, the saute pot thing didn't work?
What? Does it need to be turned again? Which saute pot? Can you please point to the saute? Okay. Jimmy Dance! <laughs> Jimmy Dance! Jimmy Dance! 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 Dance, please. Did you mean? Turn the ants, please. Yes. Information recorded. Turn the saute pot. Turn around. Okay. Jump. Okay. Crouch. Crouch. I am sorry. I don't understand what you mean by crouch. Mm. Can you please say the complete sentence again? No. No. I am sorry, Phillips. I don't understand. My name is not Phillips. I am sorry, Phillips. I don't understand. It's okay, Jimmy. Message received. It's okay to you. What am I looking at here? Just... Walk forward. Okay. Walk forward. Okay. More. I am sorry. I don't understand what you mean by more. Can you please say the complete sentence again? No. I am sorry. What Phillips. is this? I don't understand. It is a drawer. Close the drawer. It is already closed. How am I doing, Jimmy? I can't find hell by dealing me nearby. Now look in the chat, Jimmy. Chat, you see anything? Oh, that's okay. Shut the drawer. 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 Oh, the shakers are reversed. Good call. I don't know. He's never going to get this. What is this? It is a salt grinder. 
What is this? It is a pepper grinder. Pick up this. What I should pick. The salt shaker. The salt shaker. Salt is a white substance that is added to food to give it a better flavor or to preserve it. Salt is obtained from mines and is also found in seawater. It is sometimes called common salt to distinguish it from other chemical salts. Put the salt shaker here. Pick up the pepper grinder. Pepper is a powder made from dried berries, called peppercorns, used to give a hot flavor to food. down the salt shaker where should I put it in your ass in your ass in your ass in your ass on the counter which counter can you please point to the counter a counter is a flat surface in a kitchen for preparing food on. Put down the pepper grinder. Where should I put it? New York Pass. Right. New York Pass. Put down the pepper grinder on the counter. Where should I put it? Give it to Phillips. I wasn't programmed with the give command. Would you like to teach it to me? Yes. To teach me a new command, please use the commands I know one step at a time you can ask me about my commands whenever you need help your commands when you are done teaching me just say n <laughs> did you mean your commands tell me in a clear command please tell me about your commands the commands are an order given to a person or an animal What are your commands? I know some manipulation commands, some movement commands, and some communication commands. Abort. 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 Abort? Yes. Aborts. Abort. Abort. Okay. I didn't memorize steps for the give command. Put down the pepper grinder. Where should I put it? On the counter. Which counter? Can you please point to the counter? Okay. No, Jimmy. No, Jimmy. Pick up the pepper grinder. Okay. Turn right. 
turn right. <laughs> turn right. Turn right. Okay. Turn right. Okay. Walk forward. Okay. Turn left. Okay. Put down the pepper grinder. 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 Where should I put it? On the counter. Which counter? Can you please point to the counter? Here. Okay. I'll fucking kill you, Jimmy. I'll fucking kill you. The fuck is wrong with you? Go to sleep, Jimmy. A domestic bot is a humanoid robot that is designed to perform house chores and provide companionship to humans. Get back to uh how do I switch back to me? How do I do anything? Help. Talk to Miki. Mm hmm. What is this? Keep everything as short as clear as I always use A or for the you need to be specific. Keep it factual. If the robot doesn't understand, you avoid lengthy explanations. If you a microphone, you can always do more voice training. Yeah, you can always do more voice training. Speak one short sentence at a time. Hmm. Okay. Vehicle, control tab, inventory. Okay, none of those commands are working. I'm trying to figure out how to switch back to me. How to switch back to me. I can't talk to Mickey. Oh. 
Pick up the pepper grinder. Pick up the pen. Pick up the pepper grinder. Okay. Oh, there I am. Thanks, chat. Get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna go see if I can kill Jimmy. Jimmy! Oh. Put the pepper grinder down. <laughs> Put the pepper grinder down. 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 Did you mean? Pick PT the pepper grinder down up. Put the pepper grinder down. Where should I put it? Here. It, like, wh where I'm clicking. Where I click. I don't know where you click. What is this? It is a coffee maker. Put the pepper grinder down. Where should I put it? To the right of the coffee maker. I can't find the right nearby. Turn around. Okay. Walk forward. Okay. Turn left. Okay. Put the pepper grinder down. Where should I put it? In front of you. Okay. Turn left. Okay. Walk forward. Okay. Turn right. Okay. Put the pepper grinder down. Where should I put it? Next to the coffee grinder. Next to the coffee maker. A coffee maker is a small machine for making cups of coffee.
Ay. <laughs> Jimmy! I am sorry. <laughs> I don't understand what you mean by Kennedy. I can't do this Can anymore. Can you please say the complete sentence again? Turn off. Okay. Shut down. Did you mean? Turn shut down. Turn Jimmy off. Turn Jimmy off. Turn Jimmy off. Okay. Bend down. Get down. What I should get. The pepper grinder. Okay. Put down the pepper grinder. Where should I put it? On the counter, next to the coffee maker. In here, 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 in front of you. Okay. Put down the pepper grinder. Put down the pepper grinder. Drop the pepper grinder. Okay. Step on the pepper grinder. I wasn't programmed with the step command. Pick Would up. You like to teach it to me? No. Okay. Pick up the pepper grinder. Okay. down the pepper grinder where should I put it on the counter which counter can you please point to the counter okay pick up the pepper grinder Pick up the pepper grinder. Okay. Turn right. Okay. Turn. Okay. Turn. Okay. Put the pepper grinder above the drawer.
Which drawer? Can you please point to the drawer? A drawer is a part of a piece of furniture such as a desk, used for keeping things in it is shaped like a box and has a handle on the front for pulling it out. Does that not count? I don't think that counted, but thanks chat. I think we have to move it a little to the left. Slide the pepper grinder. I am sorry. Mm. I can't do that because I am not programmed with the command. Move the pepper grinder. A grinder is a machine or tool for grinding a solid substance into a powder. Where the fuck you going, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Jimmy, pick up the pepper grinder! Jimmy, the pepper grinder! J Jimmy! <laughs> Jimmy, pick up the pepper grinder! Aha! Uh -huh. I pick up the pepper grinder. <laughs> 